Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm back at pace and it's time for my annual look back at the year that's just gone and to see what it has thought me. Now, every time I go up with the camera, it's always an interesting journey. I always believe that bad conditions do not exist in landscape photography and that still is true to this day. But what it really does show me is every time I go with the camera, it's a school day. You're going to learn something new, either about weather conditions, about light, about composition, or even about yourself or your camera. And that's something I enjoy to look back over the year. And when you do that, it actually helps you to be able to solidify everything that's happened in the last 12 months and take the positives to bring forward into the next year. So join me as I take a look back at 2021 and what it has thought me. I've been doing the Irish Photography Podcast since August 2018. And when my co-host, Dermot O'Donovan, decided that he needed to retire in November 2020, I was then faced with the choice to either stop it, find another co-host, or continue it on my own. And I chose the last option. And even though it's a big commitment and challenge to keep coming up with the guests, record each, edit, produce, and market each one, I found that it has increased my skill set and giving me micro goals. Plus, I've met many talented photographers over the course of the year, and I thank each and every one of them for coming on, teaching myself and the audience quite a lot about their approach to their craft. Plus, them also taking the time out of their busy days to record on my podcast. With 26 podcasts produced in 2021, I'm now already setting up the schedule for 2022, and there's going to be some fantastic guests joining me. Thank you also to all of the regular listeners for tuning in each week. I even had a dozen or so number ones in the podcast charts, which is absolutely fantastic. By the way, uh, this microphone was switched off. So <laughs> this microphone is just for sure. <laughs> it's, it's empty. It's yeah. just plastic. Yeah, There's exactly, nothing in yeah. it. It's a, do you only get dummy cameras? That's just a dummy microphone. Yeah. $50 <laughs> cheap rubbish. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but welcome to the Irish Photography Podcast. Sit back. Relax and listen about cameras, gear, settings, stories, and all things photography. Join Darren on Ireland's Best Photography Podcast. Let's go. Early in the year, I had the pleasure of having Thomas Heaton, Adam Gibbs, Gavin Hardcastle, and Eric Bennett each on to discuss and chat about their books. I also got to work with other photographers on my raw edit challenge, and this was a real eye-opener. The variations that were outputted from the same raw file were incredible, and it is definitely something I want to repeat in 2022. Plus, hopefully, I'll get to travel and also host people here in the next year or so. I also got to try my hand at some astrophotography with Keen and McSnap. Tracked and stacked seems to be the way to go, and I really enjoyed learning from both. So I've come over now to uh, two of the lads who know exactly what they're doing, and I'm going to be asking a question here to a guy who's extremely talented. His name is Kean. He's from Cork, and he's gotten some incredible shots over the last number of months, years really, but particularly from the um, astro point of view as well. So, Kean, how's it going? Not too bad. Come here, question for you. You, you, drop the, you can drop the talented part, I'd say. I uh, know, I'll add that in even more so. <laughs> Come here, looking at your rig there, you've got a lot of stuff that's on it that I don't. What, are you, what have you got? What are you doing? How are you, how are you doing your shots? Yeah, so I have um, Sky Adventure Mini Tracker on. So it is polar aligned to the north there. Polaris behind us. So it's facing directly north. And I have an equatorial mount um, that just basically helps with all the aligning. Right. And then I have just a ball head on top, which is at, a, at an angle. Um, and then basically my camera is facing the Milky Way, but the tracker is facing north. 2021 started off deep, deep, deep in lockdown here in Ireland and for the first three months or so I was confined to staying local and this gave me the time to try different types of photography that I wouldn't ordinarily try. Once I was able to move more freely, I immediately hit the coast, otherwise known as my happy place, and discovered that my skills had improved from my woods adventures. I also discovered some pretty amazing photography locations along the way. And of these, there were two highlights. Number one, the stunning islands off the coast of Dingle that I got to experience with some other great photographers which was organised by my buddy Bernard Geraghty. 
and number two was hitting the cliffs of Moher in County Clare on board Dearmuds jet ski. This was an incredible way to view these impressive cliffs and one that will stay with me for a long time. Above all else, it has still shown me that Ireland is an absolute gem for photography. There are so many places yet to discover and you will always get a shot. Normally I don't suffer much with gas, otherwise known as gear acquisition syndrome. However, this year I did get a taste of the good life when I had the opportunity to have the Canon R5 and two sweet lenses for over a month. I really did enjoy using that camera and lens. Plus, it also did show me that the appetite is there for gear related videos on YouTube. The response was awesome and I think that in 2022 I will make more videos on this topic. So stay tuned for more interesting videos on filters, mics, and fingers crossed, I may even get the Canon R3 and the R6. What gear would you like me to use or even to review in 2022? Please let me know in the comments below. Today you join me, I'm in the beautiful coast of Ireland and it's a sad day really because it's the last day that I get to play with this beautiful Canon R5. So like I would have mentioned on a couple of previous episodes, I've been very lucky that Canon have given me an opportunity to try out this camera. But as always, all good things must come to an end. So I decided what I want to do is kind of put my thoughts down on what I think about the camera, the pros to it, the cons to it, and my general thoughts overall and how it suits me from a landscape photography point of view. Over the course of the year, I produced 52 videos for YouTube and I got out in the field 30 times. I managed to make multiple videos from some trips and this I found to be very rewarding and challenging. I made a video this year on pressure and the fact that I push myself to constantly produce content for this channel every week. This pressure is a good thing from my point of view and it helps me to be focused on track and gives me something to look forward to overall. Even if you're not on YouTube, I'd encourage you to get out and at least plan your photography adventures of some kind and at least once a month. It gives you something to look forward to. Plus, the more you do something, the better you will become. And I promise you that. Today you join me, I'm up in Claherhead, so following on from my last visit there, and my last episode where I was down in Claher Strand, I'm now up in Claherhead. And as you can kind of just make out behind me here, we're getting some beautiful light. It's a bit overexposed there now on that camera, but there's some sun rays that are coming down here onto the Blasket Islands. And then just here you have Antirucht, which is a beautiful island, an island actually that I visited by boat a couple of months back. So it's a phenomenal location. Hopefully it's looking like we're going to get some nice light, but I'm late, so we have to rush over to try and get the light. So yeah, let's see how we go today. So that's my look back at 2021. I do hope you've enjoyed taking that retrospective look with me. And it wasn't that bad in the bigger scheme of things. I'm going to really look forward now to 2022 and continuing my journey. And also I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's given me continuous love, support, likes, comments, shares, feedback over the course of 2021. I really do hope that you can join me as well in 2022. So if it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.